found a new love. I found a new. I finally, finally found, found a new girl. Everybody, it's your boy Terrell. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And I want to give my breath, my strength, um, oh my God, and my will I to you. Next to me is a complete and total legend. Okay, an icon, if you will. From the early 2000s, the earliest of 2000s, wow. all the way till now, we have been rocking with you. Do you hear me? You better not make me cry already. Oh, listen, Stop. I don't know what you think about when you lay your head down at night, but what it should be is I have made an impact. Mm -hmm. My footprint in this music industry is so heavy and it don't even belong to one genre. Hell, it don't belong to one artist. Mm. Yep. Your, your artistry is so important and it's so influential. And you as a human being, because we also know a bit about your story and your life, mm -hmm. have inspired millions of people. And to have you sitting here next to me today is mm -hmm. an incredible blessing. I want y'all to put y'all hands together for the incomparable Michelle Williams! Thank you, thank you, Terrell! Oh. Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you for creating, and uh, I'm all about safe people and safe spaces. Yeah. And so thank you for creating a safe space for creatives. Oh my God, it is so safe in it's here. It's important. It is important. Even your carpet was plush in it the was, dressing it's room. It's amazing. If I you had fall. chips yeah. and lozenges <laughs> and tea, fruit snacks. Come on! Everything is all laid out. You look 23 to me. Well, God bless your uh -huh. heart. 23 and me. You yes. look just like that. <laughs> yes, you do. Thank you. Proud sponsor. We're yeah. the sponsor. <laughs> Amen. Yes. What are you doing to your skin? It's so supple. Woo! Okay, this is no lie. I literally eat bell peppers like apples. What? What? You what? know how much water's in a bell pepper? I don't wanna know. That's nasty. That's so good. A uh, bell pepper like an yeah, apple? Like you a put... sweet red, cause the red ones are the sweetest. Okay. I eat them like apples. You put barbecues on them? I don't put nothing on them. They're so good. You don't dip them in the ranch? No. They got that little seed ball in it. And you just, Yank it out. Mm. I had them delivered to the hotel last night. You had bell peppers delivered to your hotel. I've Everywhere heard a I lot go. of things. Everywhere I go. I am a red wine girl. Really? We yeah. just went to Napa, actually. Oh, you did? It is called the blood of Christ. Will we do it? It is communion. It and is communion. And he turned water into wine. I call it his greatest accomplishment. You know, now, we, we don't want to justify the alcoholics, but yes, he, he did. He well, did. Yeah, he, he did a lot of wonderful things. He <laughs> saved mankind. He did. But that's that's okay. Mm -hmm. He fed how many people with the fish and the bread, the one I loaf? Mean, he, I mean, 5,000. 5,000? 5,000. But man, he mm -hmm. created wine. I see, he can't beat that. <laughs> he really can't be beat in that department. This woman is a part of one of the best selling groups of all time, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And that group is called Destiny's Child. It if you don't clap for that, <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you are. I clap for the group too. We clap for the group. Yes. Y'all. Thank you. No one can, they can say a lot of things. What they will not say is that Destiny's Child does not go down in history mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as one of the greatest to ever do it, mm -hmm. okay? You've been in the game for a minute mm. and you still look the same. You can get right back on that uh, that little glass <laughs> table you was on and that Catered to You video with them ocean blue <laughs> shoes you had on. Lord Jesus. The, uh, what do you call those shoes? The wedges. Were they wedges? They were wedges. Oh gosh, it was so cold. I don't even know. Was it cold? It was cold in that desert. Yes. Why they have you sit on the chair backwards? It was that was Frank Gadsden. <laughs> Take me back to 
99-2000, right before the Destiny Child era, okay? 99-2000. What was Michelle doing in the late 90s? <laughs> I was in college. Mm -hmm. And then 1999, I was uh, auditioned to sing background for Monica. What? I don't think I knew that. Yeah, Monica was doing a tour for Nickelodeon called the All That Music and More Tour. Yeah. I auditioned a young man um, that was a friend of mine who's no longer with us in the flesh, mm -hmm. um, but he, I believe he found my number in the bottom of a moving box to, and called me to see if it was still my number, and it was. And What? Mm -hmm, I was like, oh, well tell her I said hi, and if she needs a background singer, you know, to let me know. And not thinking he would call days later to say, hey, sh in fact, she is having auditions. Yeah. Can you get to Atlanta tomorrow? And did you get there? Well, thank God. I mean, at the time, I could not afford a next day. Right. He has a cousin, uh, worked for United Airlines. Yeah. And he said, let me see if she can get you a buddy pass. And she did. Look at all this grace, Michelle. Yes. Yeah, so I am really big on what comes out of your mouth. Mm. Because I thought I was just talking out the side of my mouth. And I said, well, remember I said, if she needs a background singer, tell her I said hi. First mm. of all, she don't know me, you know, and, you know, just, hey, I, I love to sing background. Right. And so from that moment on, I knew the power of my words. Michelle? Yes? Williams? Yes? <laughs> There's a game we like to play here. What is the game? Okay. I'm going to give you a word. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once I give you a word, and this is words that Roxy has provided me, if they're hard, you have to look that way. Okay. Okay? Because I didn't do it. Okay. Once I give you the word, you're going to have 11 seconds mm -hmm. to sing the first song that comes to your head with this word in the lyrics or the title of the song. Okay. Can you do that? We're on the Terrell show. Huh? Let's go. Let's see. What I'm going to start you off easy. The first word for the living legend Michelle Williams is... Will, W-I-L-L, -L. 11 seconds are on the clock. Will, Will. Look at that hot seat going. Um, um, I don't know, I want to be in your will, That's a whole song. <laughs> That's a song. In thy holy will. That's not, you just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> You sure about that? In your holy will? Yes. Where'd that come from? The Clark sisters. And maybe one of your sisters. <laughs> what? Yeah, okay, okay, fine. Okay, now, you're a girl, will, and you're at the will, church, will. right? Will, Will, Will. You, you, you're a girl. Oh, I got church. it! What? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Will you be ready? Okay. <laughs> when Jesus comes, will you be ready? When Jesus comes. I'm telling you right now, I will not make it through this episode. Yes, you will. <laughs> I will not make it through this Holy Ghost episode. Yes, you will. Will. Okay, let me, I got to figure out some R&B songs too, because it's all going to be. I don't care. Church. You okay. can sing sting, rock, pop, rock, bluegrass, yeah. whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Because Michelle Williams is singing in my face. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Can we cut for Michelle Williams, please? Let's go, good people. Now, Michelle, you got to know the rules of the game now. I'm you sorry, have 11, 11 seconds. 11 seconds. That's okay. a weird number. Well, 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 it used to be 10, but then the pandemic came. Okay. And I felt bad. Okay. So I wanted to give my part. An extra second. An extra second to help y'all minds get right. Thank you. You're welcome. I should have had these questions and these words in advance. Now, and I'm glad you said that because now y'all know that we don't. I'm okay. Like, this is real. This is real. YouTube is real. YouTube is real. YouTube is real. <laughs> Drink gonna fall on the table. My tea. The word is storm. Oh, Michelle. It's over now. It's over now. I feel like I can make it. The storm is over now. Yes! Oh! But then I got a song called Purpose in Your Storm. Why didn't I come you up with that? You can make it. 
Stop complaining. There's, There's a, a purpose, purpose for your life. Yeah. Sing. Mom is spitting. Where you going? It's going to be all right. Yeah. Don't, don't. He'll never put more on you than you can bear. Don't, don't, don't. It's temporary. It's going to get better. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. There is a light that's shining, and soon the dawn will come. There is a purpose, purpose in your storm. Soon you'll discover peace like a river when the rain clouds form. You'll find your purpose, purpose in your storm. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. Hey! La da da da. Purpose in your storm. Tommy, I'm sorry it's not in the right place. Y'all don't clap in here with your big hands. Uh. <laughs> 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 I'm going to tell you something about 2004. Mm. What a, was it? I was 12. You was 12? You yes. was 12. <laughs> And an album came out called Do You Know. Ah. My favorite song from that album. Mm, mm, what? Mm, 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 mm. Can you guess? Is it Do You Know? Not, what? Beautiful. Okay, can My I guess? My favorite guess, it's got your boy on it, and good Lord, he can sign. Oh, Eric Dawkins! Huh? Thing. I can't figure out this love thing. Seems we've talked about it all before. Said the truth about this love thing. No one else can love you more. Do you know he is here? He will never, Sing never the song. let you down. Hold on. He will do, do just what he said. da 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 Da, 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 da. Oh, 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 oh. I love adding that. I love when you add it. Ah! Thank you. Do you, you know my brother produced that song? Really? My only brother. I hate to see you crying. Seems like your world is torn apart. Just know that God is faithful. He heal your wounded heart. He knows things that lie ahead. I think that's what came from. To calm your way, he keeps standing ah. on his promises. Believe. Believing what he said. I don't know when the chorus came, but I remember that's what came first. I, I know what part you can do. What? <laughs> that bridge. Oh, let him in. in. To your heart, he's knocking at your door. So let him in. So lift up your head, oh, into the sky. I know in him, he has the power to change your your life. When that song came out, actually, you know, the first time I saw you perform that song was within the Destiny's Child tour oh, DVD yeah. in Atlanta? In Atlanta. Wow, Terrell, that was good. How did we get to Destiny's Child? Oh, because snap! Because Destiny's Child mm -hmm. was a group already. Yes. It was a moving train. It was. You jumped on a moving train. Give me all the tea. I know. Lipton tea. Lipton tea. <laughs> Destiny's Child actually opened up on that tour of the Monica and 98 Degrees tour. Is that how they found you? I, well, one of Monica's dancers was Destiny's Child's choreographer. At the time when uh, Destiny's Child was just looking for some alternates or um, transitional members, nothing permanent. Yeah. Um, my name came up. Yeah. And they said, I think you should, you know, look, you know, look at Tanitra. Now, I do remember Destiny's Child opening up that tour. 
I th- say my name hadn't dropped yet, or if oh it did, goodness. it had just came out. It wasn't the monster yet. Yeah, that it had come. so early. So they had no, 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 Bugaboo and Bills uh-huh. as like the singles. Yeah, you know, towards the end of that year, uh, I got a phone call from Miss Tina. Woo. to come to Houston hey, and sit with the girls. And um, that's how that happened. I mean, when I first got in the group, when I when I sang for them the very first day we ever met, I sang a gospel song. So that's all I knew. That's all I know, mm. really. Um, and to bring that into Destiny's Child, and they were already doing gospel medleys. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then me coming up in there, this church girl, it was yeah. like, Yes. That's what I try to tell folk. People always want to ask the question, like, and we'll talk about it, like, mm-hmm. how or why did Michelle go from R&B to gospel? Really, you were gospel first. Gospel first. Yeah. I was born and raised in the church. I was a praise and worship leader. Yeah. Um, choir director. Yeah. Uh, gospel. I was in a gospel group. So literally, that's all I knew because, yeah. like you growing up, we weren't allowed, we didn't listen to a lot of R&B when my mama was home. Yeah. We waited till she left. <laughs> See, I was too scared to even do Crazy that. Crazy thing is my dad had all the R&B. What song did you sing for them when you auditioned? Or not auditioned, but when you met with Destiny's Child? What um, was the gospel song? Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. You sang that for Tina? Go ahead. I sang that and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you singing Walk With Me? When Say My Name is out, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> That's the song I sang. That's what just came to mind? Just While I'm it? on this tedious journey, Lord, I want Jesus every day of my life to walk with me. And they said, we want that. And we then, want her. And we added it to a gospel medley. And if you YouTube it, you'll see us singing Walk With Me on a couple shows and on tour. Look at, I, that is so, that's a bold thing mm-hmm. to do. There were tons of other girls yeah. that they could have picked that can sing or dance circles around me. I think God was like, I can trust you. Ooh, it, go ahead and open up a church. The doors are open. Yeah! The doors are open. When you came into Destiny's Child, you knew who they were already. Right, yeah. and you knew that they had members up in there yes. that were no longer there when you got up yeah. in there. Yeah. Did you feel any type of uneasiness mm-hmm. about the situation you were jumping into? Um, I came in um, with the posture of respect. Yeah, I came in with the posture of respect because of what Beyonce and Kelly were going through. Yeah, and I couldn't be ob- oblivious or ignore what Latoya and Latavia could have possibly right. been going through. Although certain things I was not like privy to, mm. but I couldn't act like there weren't two other young ladies right. in the group. And so I was very nervous about that because you're walking into a group where it was already established and they have fans. Yeah. So I was nervous, like, am I going to get like, you know, eggs thrown at me or right. tomatoes thrown at me for... How could you not you know, think that? Like- I, I, but I... The goal was to win. Mm. How could Michelle Williams come in this group, in this family, and um, help us to win? That was that was my focus. One thing I will say is, as difficult as that could have been, mm-hmm. you came into that group and you owned it. You mm-hmm. you you. We saw you as a new member to mm-hmm. something, and it didn't feel like at all, like, who is this? Mm -hmm. It gave, we love that. I didn't have time to like think about it. We didn't have time. Like you said, it was a moving train. We had to go, we had to go. Let's win, let's go. Let's play a game. What's the, we've been gaming, we've been playing. We've been playing a game. We're gonna play a game within a game. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I know that, you know, you love Destiny's Child, right? I love, I love, I love. And you love your music. Your solo music too. Yeah, of course. But we all know. What are we doing? Are we gonna (laughs) pop balloons? No! What's gonna happen? We're gonna play a little game called Which One Gotta Go? Which one gotta go? Which and- one gotta go? Aww. Oh yeah, we're gonna put you on the spot, okay? Michelle, I'm gonna present two balloons and on each balloon there is a different Destiny's Child song. Okay. And one of them gotta go. Thank you. 
And for safety. Oh, oh my yeah. God, this is unsafe. No, it's not. No, it's a safety It's a safety pin. pin. I just don't like the sound of popping Are you one balloons. of those ones? Yes. Well, these are- I got it. I'm like, you know the biscuit cans? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. like cringe because I'm like, is really? it going to pop really loud? Yeah. Okay, well, these are um, these are trick balloons. They won't, they won't make pop a sound. Pop it over there. But you got to pop it. No, I don't. You got to- I'll choose it. You pop it. <laughs> I'm gonna do the first one and then well, we'll see how it goes. Turn the body. But over you there. have to pick, Michelle. Okay. You gotta see it. Okay. okay. Which I can't one gotta go? Well, wait, I can't hold and pop. I'm not holding <laughs> and popping. That's not like a dance. Okay, hold hold and pop. Hold, you're gonna have hold to hold and pop. pop. My lovely assistant Leon here is gonna help us. Woo! One of these songs have got to go, okay? You can only keep one song in your discography. The one that has to go is which one? Soldier or Bootylicious? This is horrible! Yes, it is. Bootylicious. Gotta go? <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> so you get the next one. Yeah! Okay. No, no, no. Or bills, bills, bills. One of them's gotta go. Wait, don't, don't poke me. Come on, get in there. <laughs> is it this one, bills? <laughs> get it. Get it! Yeah! yeah. You can do it, Michelle! Yeah! The commercial version of Independent Women and Lose My Breath. Which one's got to go? <laughs> Hit it! I feel like it's going to pop! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> ah. no. Oh! Oh! The little balloon! The it's little a gentle balloon. pop. It's a little, little, little balloon. Okay. Oh, which one has to go? Which one has to go? Emotions or T-shirt? Which one got to go? Oh, I love it for you. Hit it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Stab it. Stab it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Michelle. Oh, wow. This is really difficult for me. For me, I don't know. Do you know? Yep. Which one? Whoa! Almost got stabbed, Michelle. God dang it. Just get... Yeah. Okay, just take I it out. I have it's my gonna own happen. way. I love your way, actually. Everybody, be unique. You don't have to this is your... pop it like everybody. Well, for... <laughs> and she means that in so many ways. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was so quick of a choice. Yeah. To hell with it. You can pop it, but you can pop. You don't have. I don't pop like you pop, and you. Don't... You get what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, girl, take a good look at yourself. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh my God, I agree. I want to do the same thing. I, I mean, I mean. Hey, we got to call it like we see it. Last one is the hardest one for me because I saw it on the thing and I said, oh my God. <gasps> Woo! 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 Yo, uh, say my name goes today, 2023. Say my name. No! 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 Put it back! Oh! Write it on one of the balloons that's still with us. <laughs> Go clap for that! Boy! Tanitra! What? <laughs> not just pop my song. Listen. Now, we all know one thing about Michelle Williams if you know nothing else. What? When the bridge comes in, can we talk about oh, the bridge? Yeah. The word is cater. Go ahead. 11 seconds. You don't need it. I want to give my breath, my strength, my will to you. That's the least I can do. Let me cater to you through the good, the bad, the ups and the downs. I'll still be here for you. Let me cater to you because you're beautiful. I love the way you are. Fulfill your every desire. Your wish is my command. I want to cater to my man, your heart. Ooh. So pure, your love shines through. The darkness will get through. So much of me is you. I want to cater to my man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was like, Kelly, I'm like my sleep. You roll off if you want to. <laughs> Wait till I wake up. Kelly did say, roll over, baby. I heard you. I'm here to serve you. That's what she said. <laughs> I values my rest. <laughs> I know you can wait. Okay, okay, that that won't work. I know. What you mean won't work? You gotta roll over. You do have to sometimes. <laughs> it ain't got to be all the time, but sometimes you roll over. Hopefully he values rest like I do. That's true. And we can agree on what time. Yeah. Yes. Agree. You agree? Absolutely. Like, figure this thing out here. <laughs> Eight o'clock p.m. normal Central Standard Time. Michelle, <laughs> Michelle, damn it! Speaking of bridges, you also pop through with love. <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah, no. My favorite bridge, you. Hello. Why do I feel so empty? I'm crying out for some stability. Destroy my many insecurities. I'm breaking down. Somebody pray for me. Need a love like no other, not an ordinary love. Restore my joy, wisdom, and courage. Lord, I need your love. I found a new love. I found a new. I finally, finally found, found it in God. Yeah. What is that thing? Right there. Right there. Right there. I had to bell one time because I was being, I was being lullaby over here. I couldn't find my keys. I gotta get the right keys. Always had it, never will lose it. Aw, oh, bless you. We're having fun. I just, I am not a real human being yes, right you now. Are. Destiny Fulfilled meets its own documentary. Mm. That album, every single song that came out mm. became a hit. That was Lose My Breath, mm -hmm. Cater to You, Girl. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm missing Soldier. things. Soldier. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then even the deep cuts, we know them. The if and the through with loves, we know those songs. The ones that weren't singles are some of my actual favorites. Like? If. Mm -hmm. Free? Ooh. Sheesh. What is one song, uh, one Destiny's Child song that you were very unsure about, but when it came out, you were like, oh my God, that really exceeded my expectations. It was Lose My Breath still. Was it? It was the, can you keep up? Yeah. I wasn't sure. You wasn't sure? Personally. What was it about it at that time where you were like, mm, I don't know. I always go for the more soulful. Yeah. It was very pop, which is fine. That is a good it, pop it song. It works. But I, 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 my ear naturally goes to um, soulful yeah. stuff. Chords. Yeah. And, you know, but then every now and then it's like, it's okay to, to, um, have room for something that's not too jazzy mm. and lots of chords and churchy. Yeah. Like, leave some room for it. Just some good old pop. Take me back to um, right after Survivor. What mm -hmm. was the conversation like mm -hmm. after Survivor to do separate projects? Um, nerve wracking. I remember, hey, we're going to do separate projects. Um, and we kind of figured out what those lanes were going to be. It was a no-brainer for me to, you know, go gospel. Which, yeah. by the way, that album turned 21 years old this year, just a couple days ago. I bet I heard that word. 21 what? years old. Yeah. What? And it's a 20, classic. 21 years old. It was the highest-selling gospel album of that year. I know. That's right. Yes, which, it was. Which I didn't think it would do that. What did you think about that personally? in terms of going into mm -hmm. a, an industry like gospel. Mm -hmm. Gospel is such an interesting industry. Mm -hmm. It's hard, people judge you for going mm -hmm. in and out of that particular genre, right? I was so excited yeah. about that genre. The first album, it was very tough. Mm. Um, because gospel, I think the genre already feels like it's kind of concentrated and isolated and it doesn't get the support as it is. Right. And then here you come trying to come on. It was mm. like, I don't want nothing from gospel. I'm, I just want to <laughs> sing. I love the Lord. That's it. And they're loving them. After you guys put out your solo projects, then there was a come together to do Destiny yeah, Fulfilled. Yeah, that was always the plan. Solo yeah. projects, group. Solo projects, group. Oh, okay. So was that the 2004 album was not supposed to be the last one? I didn't want it to be the. I don't know if we wanted it to be the the last mm. album, but that's the way you know. That's the 
the way it is. And if it was up to me, we'd still be flip flopping. We'd still be group. Wow. Solo, group, solo, group, solo. So why is that the last album? I don't know. Yes, you do. No, I promise you I don't. (laughs) I promise you I don't. I'm quite positive that, you know, should we and want to do one, I I know the door is open for us to do that. I, I know for a fact that it will happen. I don't know when it will happen. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I don't care when it happens, okay? As long as it happens, yes. we must yeah. get another one. How did you balance the mm-hmm. two genres at the same time? Did you ever feel a certain type of way mm-hmm. on stage or mm-hmm. in certain songs when mm-hmm. you were going back and forth from gospel to R&B? No. I, I knew my relationship. I know my relationship with God is so strong and solid. Yeah. You have to do what you know you're called to do. Mm. All right? Come on. There is like a prescription for each person on this earth, God's path for you. Mm. Everybody cannot do my path. And And you can't do nobody? I can't do nobody else's path. So the reason why I know it was God, because of the fruit. Huh. Of it, the seamlessness of it. I had a peace about it. I had peace when I first went to Houston to sing for the girls for the first time. I prayed about it. I felt like I had peace about it. Mm-hmm. And I moved forward. Now, the times where I don't have peace about something and I do it anyway, catastrophe. Ooh. Always. Mm. But it's something about when you're so desperate for a relationship or opportunity, when I mean relationship, business or romantic, or an opportunity, when you're so desperate for it, discernment just goes out, out the, the window. window. I was and you just cannot, talking about this. you cannot. So the times where there have been like train wrecks is because, you know, um, I, I didn't heed. I didn't heed the voice or I didn't pay attention to that lack of peace in a decision. Mm. Try this word here, 11 seconds on the clock, spare. Spare. S-P-A-R-E. And I got one quickly. S-P-A-R-E? Come on, hit it. You don't know it. Spare. Mm. Oh, I know. I don't know nothing about no spare. Spare. Okay, let me help you. Spare tired. Spare. Spare. (laughs) I'm going to make up something. Spare me the details. Spare. And now look what you did. Your next single. Look what you did. Spare. Now, now look what you're doing now. That's like funk, like Aretha, like she would have done Spare. Yeah, something. yeah, yeah. Now, I, don't, I, I don't know. No, 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 no. Because in the comments, they're going to eat you up for it. They're going to say, okay, thank you. We heard it. The new single called Spare. Spare. Uh-huh. You did it to yourself. How about this? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you a question. You know, sometimes when we're going into a grocery store, or maybe at a gas station, several different- Oh, Ooh. can you spare some change? Is what I heard him say at the lie. So I- So I dug through my ashtray. My good deed today changed my life. You! If we had your eyes. Yeah! Keep on. We'd see things right. (laughs) If we had, if we could just see from your point of view, then most things won't be as they seem. If we had your eyes, if we had your eyes. Sorry, ooh. And then Fantasia comes in and gets crazy. Ooh. And gets crazy. Shout out to Fantasia. Yes, she is uh, amazing. I love songs that have a little bit deeper meaning. Mm-hmm. A little, If you dig a little bit deeper, it'll hit you a little harder. I can hear that song, you know, 10 times on my 11th time, I'll find something new in it. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. It's like a good book. Thank you. You know what wow. I'm saying? Help is the word. Help. Is it one of my songs that got the word help in it? Maybe. Don't have to be. Help. 
Oh, my shit. Did she miss it? Help me, Usher. Crossroads. So I'm looking up to heaven because I know you. I can call on I you. Know I can always count on count you. you. Yes. Can you give me direction? Yeah. Yes. I don't want to go out of your will. I'm waiting on a word from you. And until you speak, I'll just stand still. Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your guidance. Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your guidance. Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your guidance. Lord, I need your help. Oh, I need your guidance. I was literally at a crossroads. It was... I wrote that probably the last Destiny's Child show in America. Mm. And I was at a crossroads. I was like, Lord, what am I going to do? I don't want this to end. What do I do? And literally, and until you speak, I'll just stand still. When you don't have an answer yet, stay still. Mm. Just stay still. Life won't pass you by. What is for you will come. What would you say... Um, is the temperature of the current state of R&B. Who are you proud of? Who are you looking at? Who's who's piquing your interest, yeah. the new school kids? Oh, SZA, Summer Walker, oh. Ari. Uh, I love how Ari live and on album or just singing a cappella on Instagram, she sounds like her album. Yes! It's like, the, I always say that, and you have this too. When you can hear an artist on a song and you don't have to be told who's mm -hmm. singing, mm -hmm. that is, Powerful. Yeah, absolutely. That is like, oh my God, you have mm -hmm. found something that only you can do. Your voice is so unique that <laughs> day one of your performance as the butterfly. Oh my God, <gasps> I know. Girl, you ain't had no business being on the mass Singer trying to disguise your what? iconic Vocals. I, I felt like mainstream, there are certain niches in which my voice is recognizable. Yeah. But solo-wise, uh -huh. I didn't think on a network like Fox... Oh, LOL. ...that people would know. Them white folk know you too. Truly. <laughs> yes. It wasn't... I didn't know. Yeah, we know. And so Adam Blackstone, he said, it's when you go in your high yes. resonance, your high tone. I'm going down. <laughs> Not even upside. I'm torn down. Then, what did I? You can sing whatever you want. You are no, a living I'm legend. I'm gonna butcher people's lyrics. We do it here all the time. All First of all, you're you're stuck on the I'm all torn up. That's and not I'm it. All no. What is it? I'm going down. I'm safe. So I'm I going down since so you ain't around. <laughs> Worldly the, song. The word, the, These r and And the next time they ask you to drop it like it's hot, you better drop it all the way, okay? I saw you. What'd I do? You, I ain't dropping, no. I ain't going down. No, I thought I went down. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ain't told me all these years I didn't make it all the way. Michelle. Why did y'all tell me in rehearsal? Beyonce and Kelly's ass is almost on the ground. And here come you. Tuh. Here go you. I ain't finna exert all that energy. I said, I'm going nowhere. I, yes, I did. <laughs> my whole world's upside. And yes. my whole world's up. What? Side down. Side down. The word is uh, girl. Girl. I can tell you've been crying and you need somebody to talk to. Girl. <laughs> Man, I never know what I <laughs> Don't be afraid to say he hurt you. Girl, take a good look at yourself. Girl, take a good look at yourself. He got you going through hell. We ain't never seen your 
down like this. I want to talk about Michelle's love life. Okay. Because I love Michelle. Thank you. And I love when Michelle is also being loved. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Where is Michelle in love right now? I will never disclose that information ever again. Oh, and you know what's funny? What I was going to say, regardless of what she was going to say, mm -hmm. was I was watching a video the other day about oversharing, like now with social media and how far it's gone, everybody is oversharing. We mm -hmm. used to be like, dang, y'all share a lot, y'all share a lot. But at some point, we all just started sharing. Sharing, yeah. You were engaged, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's fun. It's mm -hmm. very, it's big, and you want everybody to know, mm -hmm. right? And it's it's not even like something that's uh, that's fleeting. It's like you're engaged. Like this, mm -hmm. for all intents and purposes, this is going to be it, right? Yeah. So you want to share it with the world. The purpose was to give hope because mm. I saw a lot of comments like, Michelle, you're the last one to get married. Oh. Okay. Um, did you ever think it would happen for you? Or people that were older in their late 30s, early 40s, yeah. 50s, 60s, um, who hadn't been married, who had never been engaged mm. as well. And it was, I thought I was giving hope. I thought we were giving hope to people, but it turned into something else. Mm. I won't ever do anything like that. I think y'all will see me pregnant with a stroller or something before y'all even know. <laughs> Be like, is she pregnant? She got married, she not good? That's that was the way a, to that go. Was, that was a mistake that, I, and I and I own that. Mm. I, I I own that. I'd rather fall on 106 and Park again than do that. <laughs> what nobody even thinking about that? I'd rather do Leon. that. Leon. Michelle, are you all right? Damn. <laughs> Did you mess up your knee? That shit sounded so heavy. It was the mic that made it worse oh, than what it yeah. was. Oh, yeah. Okay, because I thought you had broke something. I said, you getting up real fast, baby. That the mic was on. <laughs> the mic was on. Hello. 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 It was on. You heard that thing say, boop. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so good that uh, Kelly, she looked down, she was like, oh, be all right now because we got to keep going. So <laughs> be all right, so sis. Let me tell you why they, yeah, they, they should have helped her. Uh-uh. Let me tell you what we thought. What? Because it's a multi-cam show. Uh-huh. We just knew they were going to cut to something <laughs> else. Where, uh, it stayed on a one shot. Why? <laughs> they said she failed. Like what? <laughs> but let me tell you why they let me let me tell you why they kept it on the one shot because that's what was rehearsed. Oh. I didn't fall in rehearsal, so when you go again, you were and you rehearsed. It was on the one shot. We rehearsed it that way versus. But now it's, you got to be quick thinking. Like when something like that happens, you better pan up to the side <laughs> or something. <laughs> well, that show was live, right? It, yeah, it was live. So, yeah, I, I don't think they expected it, Michelle. It was live. <laughs> they didn't have no time they, to get they, to the sky. They, it, yeah, it, it was a hot, <laughs> horrid mess. But we learned our lesson. I yeah. learned my lesson, too. What was the lesson? Well, the lesson is to always rehearse in what you're going to perform in. Oh, the shoes, the outfits. Rehearse what were you... And I believe my heel got caught in a loop. So, imagine if my heel probably got yeah. caught in this loop, you're going to face plant. That's true. So, always, you know, don't take for granted. Oh, I, I can tip in these heels. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, you better rehearse in them heels. You better you rehearse. In. Okay. Happiness. I woke up this morning, the sunshine was shining. I put on my happy face. Is happiness is in there? It is not. Happy is. <laughs> <laughs> Love that song. But ha happiness. Happiness is the word. How does Survivor go? You know how Survivor go. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to work harder. I'm a survivor. I'm going to make it. I will survive. Keep on surviving. Uh, what? I need y'all to be doing that. Mm. Happiness is in that song. I'm not gonna do it. I'm doing prosperity, happiness. Yeah. <laughs> After all of the darkness and sadness, soon comes happiness. Hey! You asking me about happiness 24 years ago? <laughs> the world. You can only be happy 24 years no, ago. 23. The happiness. That's yeah. random. No, it's not you, random. You were supposed to give me this list. Weeks ago. <laughs> the word 
ladies and gentlemen, is worried. Worried? Oh my God. What did the little boy If you say? have it in the room, raise your hand. The little boy said, don't worry about it. Nobody me. has this song. Every little thing's gonna, gonna be, be all, all right. right. Except everybody in this room. The now, world now. is worried. Give me a hint. Now, when I say this line... No, give me a hint. Is I it a mean, Michelle song? That's Michelle's song. Whose song is it? It's actually a hybrid. Worried? What in the world? I'm going to call it a hybrid. Worried? I'm not worried <laughs> about a thing. Because I know you are... I, I'm me. so sorry to be so far removed from my catalog. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, sing the song. I'm not worried about a thing because I know you are God in me. Where you lead me, Lord, I will go. I have no fear because I know who's in control. There's no limit to what you can do because it all belongs to you. What? Come on, jazz it up. When Jesus said yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus said yes, nobody can say no. One more time. I like that. When Jesus said yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. 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 If I had background singers, they oh, yeah. would call and response. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That song went off. Yeah. That Ooh. song was incredible. You made that phrase. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Mm -hmm. A pop culture phrase. You made that thing popular. Yeah. yeah. How many, everybody in this room has said that phrase at some mm -hmm. time in their lives. Y'all waiting on them visuals and folks, when Jesus say yes, why you say it don't be giving folks them visuals. Jesus said yes. <laughs> Lord Jesus, please give the people what they need. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm Cause people be like, when Jesus say yes, you can't say no, me. I'm like, bro, <laughs> ask her, not me. Have you seen him? I just don't know what you, I mean. Oh, what it look like? No, wait, no. Oh. Y'all not hot? <laughs> <laughs> What is next for Michelle Williams when it comes to music? Uh, I, here's what I don't want you to say to me. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to say that nothing's coming. You better be in the studio. <laughs> nothing's coming. No! I can't totally abandon the music scene. Oh, it's been how long? Too long. I'm ashamed to say it. Is it, is it nine? Yeah, it'll be nine years. If I Man. keep playing, it'll be 10 years. I know it's time. Yeah. I know it's time. We're And we're ready for it. Yeah. It, we don't We don't really care what you give us. It I'll give be... a song. I don't want to do albums. I no know albums. That, I know that for a fact. If I do songs, it won't be like a traditional 12-song album. Yeah. I know I don't want to do it. I don't want to do the photo shoots. I don't want to go to promote it. Mm. I don't want to do that. So, so where are you in your in your life now where you mm -hmm. are so confident mm -hmm. in saying that that's that's your truth when i wake up in the morning and i do a speaking engagement at a university or something at just sharing my story and the importance of checking in mm -hmm. with your mental health mm -hmm. that's making impact just as my music did mm. and i have to know when the season for music is to come but i already know when i do music i don't want to do Album. I don't want to do an album. I don't. I don't even want to do a photo shoot for it. Checking in. Look at you did this photo shoot and did look at y'all better look get one of them pictures for, for album cover. <laughs> <laughs> y'all better make this fuchsia. <laughs> make it fuchsia. Add some more layers. Oh my God! Yeah. How getting real about depression saved my life mm -hmm. and can save yours. Yes. Why did you write this book? Um, I knew it was time to tell that part of my story that kind of leaked a little bit mm. before I was ready for yeah. it to. And you have to tell your story. Don't let anybody 
tell your story, mm. you know, or if you're going to tell my story, you got to tell the story that I wrote. I had been suffering with depression since the seventh grade. So I didn't come in. I, I, Destiny's Child didn't make me depressed. The industry, but you sold your soul. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I came in with this piece of luggage. It mm. was heavy. It is important to ask for help. Now, if you're independent like me, when it's more than the song that mm -hmm. we sing, you don't want to ask for help. Mm. You've been alone all these years. You can do everything on your own. But I literally was like, I needed so much help that who I was even had to go out the window. When you're desperate for help, shame got to go out the window. Worried about your public image has to go out the window when you know, okay, I need help and I need it now. Mm. And that's what I had to do. And so some of this was written in the treatment facility before I knew that I would write a book about it because they gave me a journal while mm. in the hospital mm -hmm. and to just write. And that's that's how checking in was, mm. was birthed got an official diagnosis in my 30s, mm. okay? So imagine going from the age Ooh. of seventh grade into your 30s, coping with depression in the way you was. know how, but not knowing what it was, or I knew what it was by the by my 20s. I was like, I think I'm depressed, but we were touring, mm -hmm. we were killing it. I was like, maybe I'm just tired, maybe I'm just fatigued, maybe I'm just exhausted. And that's what you would call high-functioning depression. Yeah. Back mm. then, there is it's not an official diagnosis yet, but people are coining a term called high-functioning depression. Mm. Yeah. So when you were on that stage at Coachella... Yes. You were at one of your lowest points in your mind? Yeah, not at that actual... Not in the moment moment. This, not in the but. moment moment, because there were the moments with them that was heavenly. Mm. But was I irritable afterwards or in between rehearsal? Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. But something about being with my sisters, I could, I could, it, it was okay. I'm mm. safe. I felt safe with them. Mm. To this day, I feel safe with them. Yeah. It's like depression says bye for them few hours that I'm hanging out with them. So that I was hanging out with them during the rehearsal, I should say. So even to this present day, this moment now, your relationship with your sisters, mm. Beyonce, Kelly... That literally fuels your soul. It hasn't changed. It, it fuels my soul. Some of some of the two safest women in my life. What is one thing that Beyonce has taught you mm -hmm. that you'll never forget? And one more for Kelly. Um, Beyonce has taught me, do not slack in excellence. Mm. That one detail that somebody might not might not even catch, you'll catch it because you know you were being lazy. That's that Virgo. That, like that one detail. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if even if you just notice it, mm -hmm. do it. Yes. Don't make, you know, dot that I. Kelly has taught me to live in the moment and be present. There mm. are many moments that I missed because I wanted to be in the bed, going to Paris and not going to the Eiffel Tower. Mm. I've been, I've taken a picture in front of the Eiffel Tower. I have not been in the Eiffel Tower because every time I would go and have a day off, I want to be in the bed. Kelly, on the other hand, <laughs> she's going to use her days off yeah. to go to the Eiffel Tower. She's going to travel. She's going to do bed and breakfast. She's going to, she, she, and she still has that youthful, even as a wife and mother, she still carries that youthful innocence about her as mm. it relates to discovery. There's one more thing that I want you to do more of. Acting. I love acting. I would love that. Yeah. You know, the show Half and Half is on Netflix now. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Half and Half. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I was watching it because I had forgotten, you know, you know, it's been so long. So I'm not like rewatching it, I'm binge watching. And here I come, stepping into the kitchen again with your distinctive voice. I had Half and Half in the mm -hmm. living room. Mm -hmm. I said, wait a minute. That, I know that voice. Oh, that is me. Ran back into the living room. Here you I go. I can't do no armed robbery. Because they'd be like, <laughs> No. Michelle, you don't go thrust it out. Yes. We know that's you. Exactly. Like, and I'd be like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sing your favorite uh, theme song of a TV show. What, what is it? Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Yes. <laughs> your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Da, da, da. And if we threw a party and invited everyone new, yes, you would see 
the biggest gift would be for me. And the card attached would say, thank you for being a friend. And thank you for being here. Yes, thank you for having me. No. You are a phenomenal yes. woman. Thank you, Terrell. You really, really, really are. I want to thank you for sharing this book mm -hmm. with everybody. It's very personal. Mm -hmm. You had to take off a lot of veils for you to do this with purpose and effectiveness. Yes. Thank you. It's hard to do this, you know? Um, but it's got to be done. Somebody's got to do somebody's it. Somebody's got to do it. Season six theme is, and we've been saying it all season, is get out of your mind. Mm. Get out of your mind. Mm -hmm. We trap ourselves in our own in our own heads sometimes. And we, we get in our own way and we stop ourselves from going forward. Yeah. And that's part of the reason why I wanted you to be here on this season is because you fit right on in there. Thank you. This is amazing. And thank you. Uh, for being consistent, Con yeah. consistency, you will always win when you are consistent. This yeah. is why your show has grown to over a million subscribers Ooh. and a million viewers um, on on episodes. So um, when you're consistent, people trust you. Mm. So you built trust throughout the years, and that's how you built an audience. I know that... Every single person who watched this episode got fed. I pray. I hope so. I, I hope so. I'm, I'm at a point in my life I'm responsible. Well, I've always been responsible for yeah. what I say and how I make people feel. Yes. To be intentional about that. I know I haven't always woke up on the right side of the bed. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, I, I, I've got a, that thing about be a light. Light ain't always loud. You know it's there. Ooh. Stop. Light ain't always loud. It's all, you can see it, Are though. these lights making a sound? It's illuminating a room. Cut this camera. I got to go <laughs> because now you're getting real dangerous in here. I will shout on you. Do you hear me? I grew up very, very, very much apostolic. <laughs> <laughs> okay? I will give you a Kojic two-step very Come quickly. Come on, somebody! Okay. Hey, y'all, it's Michelle Williams. Thank y'all so much for watching The Terrell Show. Please like, share, subscribe. Tap all the likes and hearts, whatever you got to do, badges, support, okay? Yeah. All right, and let me see. I, I'm going to try something. I got to see if I was able to quickly overcome my fear of popping a balloon. Oh, my God. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Get out this frame. Get out the frame. Okay, bye. Oh, okay. <laughs>